One day, a beautiful woman named Michelle had just finished an intimate and passionate encounter with her boyfriend, George. While George was very satisfied, Michelle did not share his contentment. After George left, Michelle still felt the need to use AIDS to satisfy her desires. Michelle Milan, the only daughter of the owner of a large property company in America, was a single mother and a career woman who was constantly occupied with the responsibilities of her father's company. In the boardroom, Michelle participated in a meeting with the company leaders, including her father. The negotiations concluded with the decision that, to avoid bankruptcy, they had to sell the company to the Elliott Group, a rising property company. Michelle seemed to disagree with this decision, although she did not voice her concerns. In contrast, her father believed it was the right move. After the meeting, Michelle's father gave her moral support to continue doing her best. Once the company business was concluded, Michelle went home to meet her daughter, Dara. I really don't like it when you swear, Michelle admonished her daughter. Since there was no food at home, they went to a restaurant for dinner. While eating, Dara shared many things with her mother, but Michelle appeared distracted, her eyes drawn to a handsome young man at the opposite table. After finishing her meal, Michelle immediately took her daughter home, deliberately leaving her credit card behind so she would have an excuse to return to the restaurant and meet the handsome man. When she arrived back at the restaurant, Michelle introduced herself to the young man, whose name was Ryan. Ryan had an ideal physique and a handsome face. Without hesitation, Ryan expressed his interest in Michelle. He invited her to smoke with him and even began to make suggestive advances. Feeling uncomfortable, Michelle stopped the inappropriate behavior and told Ryan it was not suitable. Before she left, Ryan gave her his cell phone number. At home, Michelle seemed uncertain about whether she should keep the number or not, attempting to forget about it and focus on her work. The next day, Michelle gave a presentation to the company officials, explaining that the funding structure of Elliott and Associates was abnormal and projecting the substantial losses they would incur if Milan Properties was sold to Elliott and Associates. After the meeting, Michelle's father met with her privately to ask about her plans for Milan Properties. Michelle responded that she intended to pursue a merger for Milan Properties rather than selling it to Elliott and Associates. However, her father warned her to maintain the company's deal with Elliott and Associates no matter what. In the evening after Michelle's work, George came to visit upon her invitation. He immediately revealed the purpose of his visit, intending to propose to Michelle and pursue a serious relationship. Michelle, however, bluntly refused his proposal, arguing that she was currently too preoccupied with her company, which was on the brink of bankruptcy. Moreover, Michelle admitted that she did not love George. Unable to accept her rejection, George left with a disappointed heart. Amid her busy life, Michelle tried to contact Ryan. Unexpectedly, Ryan invited her to meet even though Michelle already had an appointment with Jesse from the Elliott Group to discuss the company's business. Despite this, Michelle decided to meet Ryan briefly. However, the encounter took an unexpected turn as Ryan continued to seduce and misbehave with Michelle. Growing increasingly aroused, Michelle chose to ignore her meeting with Jesse, opting instead to spend her time with Ryan. In the evening, Michelle took Ryan to see her workspace at the company. Instead of taking a quick tour, Ryan and Michelle engaged in erotic activities. This experience was new for Michelle and she found herself happy and thoroughly enjoying the moment. After that, Ryan invited Michelle to continue having fun until the next day, encouraging her to forget about her work. Not long after, Ryan took Michelle to a different location and suggested they enjoy themselves there. Michelle refused as she was not accustomed to engaging in such activities in public. Hearing this, Ryan led her to a private room filled with various equipment. He spoke a few suggestive phrases, putting Michelle under his control, almost as if hypnotized. She complied with all of Ryan's demands, from undressing to calling him sir. Following this, Ryan tied and blindfolded Michelle before having sex with her. Shortly after, Michelle received a call from her father. She apologized for missing the business meeting and made numerous excuses, promising to meet Jesse the next day at 10 a.m. The next day, Michelle attended the business meeting accompanied by Ryan. With his perpetually naughty mind, Ryan handed Michelle a device and instructed her to wear it in her underwear. 
Throughout the meeting, Ryan activated the device, causing Michelle to behave oddly in front of her business partners. They then sought an empty room to continue their activities. When they emerged, Michelle appeared disheveled, drawing surprised looks from some of the guests at the behavior of the only daughter of the owner of Milan Properties. Michelle's attempt to merge companies took a bad turn. Shortly after meeting Jesse, an associate of Elliot's, things went sour. Jesse viewed Michelle as unprofessional, and his arrogant colleague, Ryan, further alienated Michelle. To make matters worse, Jesse revealed Milan Properties' financial struggles and rejected the merger. As a final courtesy to Michelle's father, he offered one last chance to finalize the deal. On her way home, Michelle's daughter, Dar, noticed her bold makeup and playfully teased her about a new romance. Michelle, however, remained tight-lipped. Dar's comment worried her mother, who feared she might be seen as dating a questionable online acquaintance. Back home, Michelle secluded herself and delved into online sexual content, seemingly finding pleasure in it. The next day, Michelle faced her father's stern gaze. He was deeply disappointed by her unprofessional conduct during the meeting and her lack of seriousness while the company's future hung in the balance. He expressed his disapproval of her actions, which tarnished the Milan family name. In an attempt to appease him, Michelle vowed to keep her personal life separate from business. Hearing this, Michelle's father could only sigh. He rejected Michelle's merger suggestion, insisting on completing the deal with Elliot as soon as possible. After leaving her father's office, Michelle tried her best to rectify the mess she had created. Eventually, she found a solution and contacted her business partner to implement it. In the evening, Michelle went to Ryan's place to have fun. Afterward, her curiosity got the better of her, and she began asking Ryan about his personal life. She also expressed a desire to take a more controlling role in their relationship. Hearing this, Ryan became very angry and kicked Michelle out of his place. After leaving Ryan, Michelle met Alina, a woman experienced in such matters. Alina warned her to be careful of Ryan, describing him as a predator who ruined the lives of the women he manipulated. After leaving Alina's place, Michelle returned home only to find her daughter, Dara, bound and made a slave by Ryan. Enraged, Michelle kicked Ryan out of her house. Seeing her daughter's distressed condition, Michelle tried to calm her down and apologized for bringing such a predatory man into their lives. The next day, Michelle had a meeting with other Milan Properties officials regarding the proposal she planned to submit. Unfortunately, Michelle was unprepared. She needed more time to finalize the profit projections she intended to present to Elliot and Associates. Hearing this, the company leaders were visibly upset and disappointed. Her father even suggested that Michelle take a few days off and delegate the acquisition task to another subordinate. Leaving her office, Michelle felt frustrated and confused about what to do next. She realized that her life had descended into chaos after meeting Ryan. Determined to confront him, she went to Ryan's place. Upon arriving, Michelle hit him and cursed at him. Despite being choked and beaten by Ryan, she managed to knock him down by hitting him with a camera tripod. A few moments later, Ryan woke up naked and bound, with Michelle standing over him. She threatened him to stay away from her and her daughter. When Ryan remained arrogant, Michelle mercilessly whipped and tortured him. Terrified by the ordeal, Ryan finally promised to stay away from Michelle and her daughter. With her point made, Michelle left Ryan alone. The next day, Michelle dressed up more beautifully and went to meet Jesse at his office. Seeing Jesse's indifferent expression, Michelle sat down and presented her business proposal. She explained that Elliot and Associates could profit more by merging with Milan Properties because some crucial properties, which support their business, could only be acquired by Milan Properties, which had full access. As Michelle detailed the projected benefits of the merger, she also exuded charm, unexpectedly fascinating Jesse. Intrigued by her proposal, Jesse decided to visit Milan Properties immediately to discuss the merger further. After explaining everything to her father and the company officials, Michelle and her team awaited Jesse's arrival. When he arrived, they promptly discussed Michelle's business proposal. Jesse was very impressed with her idea and immediately approved the merger, making her father and other company officials very proud of her hard work. As a result, Michelle was promoted. In her spare time, Michelle celebrated her success with her assistant. Suddenly, Jesse came to see her to discuss some matters further. During their conversation, he extended an invitation to dinner. Realizing that Jesse was captivated by her, Michelle became bolder 
and hinted at the possibility of more intimate engagements. We hope you enjoyed this recap as much as we did. Remember to subscribe to Classic Recaps Universal for more insightful dives into timeless masterpieces. If you found the narration is good in this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow movie enthusiasts, and drop your thoughts in the comments below.